Hello, beautiful soul. <laughs> Happy Monday. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to be sending you this message because let me tell you something. There are many, 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 many wonderful uh, divine sources and divine vessels out there. And let me tell you, being one of them, I have a message for you. <laughs> I have a message for you. And I said all that because I was on a walk this morning. And um, first of all, hi, I'm Melanie of Melamind. And I just want you to love yourself. <laughs> I am a self-love and authenticity coach. And if you are here on my YouTube channel, that means, well, you just, I, you know, you tell me. <laughs> I am here to help you love yourself. I do human design, astrology, as well as uh, being a divine channel for messages. I have just went live on Instagram and um, we had just an amazing message and I wanted to continue it here because this is the theme. This is the message of the day, okay? It has been just so important and so powerful to be able to do this, all right? So, this morning, I pulled a card. I wonder if you'll be able... Oh, cool, yeah, yeah, you can see it pretty well. Look at that. Mm. And I'm going to keep spreading the word because I pulled this card this morning for me. And then I said, you know what? When I go live, I'm going to spread the message on this. And... It's been a theme in my life for the past month, two, but then also the work getting to it has been two years, okay? It's a very, very deep transitory time, the life of ease. Now, when you are... Talking about the life of ease, I ask. Like if you if you watch that meditation, go to that meditation, meditate on the life of ease, come back here and, and talk with me, chill with me, be with me, comment with me, um, let me know how you're feeling, how you felt with that reading, and how you're feeling now and this energy, this full moon in Gemini. Let's let's connect, let's do this. Um <coughs> in this energy. It's been very powerful to align. It's been telling us to sit down, okay? Saturn entered Pisces in March. And it's we've been forced to sit with our, our, um, our epiphanies, our shadows, our spiritual teachings, our different things that we have brought to light this wonderful year. I, I just feel confident saying that all of us have been going through a lot, especially since 2020. We always are always going through things, but I'm talking about on a spiritual level. And this, of course, is astrologically as well. The energy has been shifting us not only to liberation, not only to community, not only to true and powerful love with our twin flames, but, okay, let's not say twin flames but our um, our soul partners, our ooh, just true alignments who are here to help raise the consciousness of the collective as a team. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> but also within yourself, the self-love journey is prominent and thick right now. And I am here in your aura, in your your presence to assist you on that ride, to assist you on that journey because, well, if you do know human design, I am a manifester. I am here to ignite the light within you, empower you, bring out the self-love within you and help you understand that by shining your light, being unapologetically you, you spread it to all of the other souls. And do you know what they do? they spread it 
to the next soul and to the next and it spreads and it spreads and then all of a sudden we are just on a foundational better frequency a better mood we're all just waking up singing humming doing all these things for ourselves aligning with our bodies aligning with who we are and then going out into the world and projecting that look at me i love myself and you love you too we are all gonna love ourselves and we're all gonna love on each other <laughs> spread the love gosh that's what i'm here to do I can't even tell you. It's it's honestly emotional. It truly is emotional for me because it's I've gone through such a transformation. So, <laughs> and I'm living my purpose. I'm here to help heal. I'm here to awaken and I'm here to initiate. And that's that's what we're here for. That's that's why we're here. So I've been going through the transition of living a life of ease calling things to me, aligning things to me, manifesting what it is that I desire and what I want and having it come to me. Yes, I am a manifester. Yes, I have these powers that are much more uh, powerful than those who are not manifestors. Um, but I can still share what my experiences are. And I am about to do that through travel. I'm about to travel the world with absolutely really nothing. I'm going to go take on the other cultures. I'm going to align with what it is that I align with. I challenge myself, Melanie, you need to know what you want. If you know what you want, you can have it right now. If you know what you want, you can have it right now. And, and if you don't know what you want, then just chill, align, see what comes to you. But if you do find yourself in a place that says, oh, I'm not, I don't want to be here or I'm not getting what I want. This isn't where I want to be. Notate what you want and make it happen. Notate in what you want and align with it. Align with it. <laughs> a life of ease, okay? So let's talk about this because it takes a lot to just have your lease end and say, you know what, I'm going to take the money I've been spending on rent and cars and utilities and groceries, and I'm going to go travel. I'm going to go see other places in the world, see how life is, really get to know the true human experience, okay? Because chances are, if, if you've been chilling in Southern California, you probably just are not in touch with what humanity truly is. And I I was volunteering the whole time I was here. I always found something to volunteer for, to give my light to, to show up and be. Oh, and it was wonderful. I volunteered for Habitat for Humanity for, for three years. I think it was three years or was it two years? Um, and just spread my light there. And it was absolutely beautiful. But then there was a sobering moment where I said to myself, Melanie... You're playing small, my girl, my goddess. You're playing small. Get your butt out there. The world needs you. Not Southern California, not even just little old Santa Ana or Irvine or Lake Forest. The world. And so I'm going after it. And you know what? I have gotten the most groundedness and gratitude from it with astrology and human design literally says that traveling is where I receive success and love. Literally says that I am here to just show up to the collective and be a light. <laughs> and what I desire will align with me. And so that's what I'm going to go do. And I invite you to follow along. Why not? It's going to be fun. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to tell you more about that, but this is about the full moon in Gemini. Back to the message. Wealth of ease, okay? So if you, you, you did watch that meditation, I'm going to link it, the meditation below that I just did on uh, YouTube Live, Instagram. All right, so, oh my gosh, one more thing. I'm so sorry for, like, keep cutting off the message, but I... And working to get to a thousand followers on TikTok so that I can start going live 
there so that I can start reaching much, much, much more people. So please go follow me, share my videos, share the word, share the message. It's going to be so fun. And I can't wait for the time. Well, I can't wait. I can't wait because it's in alignment. Whatever aligns, aligns. But I can't wait to just have a, have times where I'm able to just spend time with you guys live um, on TikTok. So follow me on TikTok. I'm Melamind on everything. Just Google Melamind and go down the whole thing and get up on everything. All right, back to the message. Mwah. <laughs> Um, wealth of ease. We love a wealth of ease. So we, you covered all of that and I don't have to go over all of it again. So I'm going to reread this, this card though. All that I seek flows easily and effortless to me in perfect time. I am blessed to have all the time, energy, and resources needed to make my dreams come true. I claim ease and flow in all that I do, say, and create ease and flow ease and flow you deserve that and you love yourself enough to make sure that you can align with that and what you need to do in order to align with that is to bring light to it bring light to the things within you that are requiring a little bit of attention or a lot of attention consistent attention even don't be afraid of yourself don't be afraid to unlock yourself in this energy, this Gemini moon, Gemini air. Gemini is air. You go in and out and flow and allow to be let go of control. You don't have it, okay? You are not in control. All you can do is control the controllables, which are how you take care of yourself, how you show up into the world, be a light be a vessel of light when you go out to the other humans and to the other souls and what aligns to you will come mm. and align with the actions that are going to lead you there okay you cannot rely solely on <laughs> on just sitting back and having it come to you we, we like to be in realism as well we like to be realists um, Da, da, da. So aligning with the ease in your life. Feel into that right now. Feel into how that feels right now. What, it, what it's like to be in a life of ease. What does that even sound like to you? What does it look like to you? When you say, I want to align with someone what, or with something, you know it's on my mind, jeez. What is it? And if it is someone, then, then, then what is that person like? you got to itemize the things. Take time aside to just get to know what it is that you want. That's going to be your power, okay? <sighs> so, yes, I was just... Um, traveling to the time where I said, I'm going to make a YouTube video about this because I want to I want to speak longer on it, okay? And that's where we are right now. So I did that tarot message and pulled the king of pentacles. Do you guys know what this is, the king of pentacles? I said, let me know about this full moon energy full moon and Gemini energy. What? Well, tell me about it. And they said, Boop. King of Pentacles. Tell me, what, what does it look like he's doing? If that's not a note of ease, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. He's chilling his, in his library with his wolf dog who's Obviously, his deepest protection. I mean, he, they're both there aligning spiritually. That's his little protector, or his big old protector. He has the, the pentacle of pentacles in his lap, just glow and gleam. And he knows that the second he has a thought that comes to his mind, anything he wants, anything he can notate, is his. Anything. And he also aligns with the things that he can't, that he can't even imagine yet because the universe is always blessing him, blessing them, blessing her with. All of the things that may just allow ease 
in their life. Mm. Not a care in the world, just a gleam in his eyes as he's sitting there, understanding that there's nothing to worry about. I'm a human. I'm magic, and I get to have this. I get to have this life, and I will suck it in as much as I can. And I will, with a life of ease. I am not strenuously working. I am not slaving all day. I'm not away from my family. I'm not away from my friends. I am not working my ass off to sit around and sit on technology and be told who to be, what to do, where to show up, what to shop for, what to wear. No, 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 that's not a life of ease, just following some kind of blueprint that came before you. That's not a life of ease. That's not your soul. You know what your soul is. Well, your soul knows what you are, but you don't know what your soul is. Get to know your soul and what your soul wants, what your soul desires. Because when I was saying that, you know what your soul wants. When you feel something that you align with so much, that you love so much, go outside, go on a walk. You feel, whoa, my soul really loves this. I feel a song in my heart right now, some flittering even going on. I feel so fulfilled. I want more of this. Get more of that. Create more of that. You can have it. It's yours. It's all within you. It's all yours. Always. This life of ease. You align with it very, very soon. You might be on the same, the same uh, portion of the work that I'm on. And I'd love to hear about it. Tell me about your life of ease and how you have aligned with it. Hmm. It's going to take some intense getting to know yourself. And you're not afraid. You are ready. So let's talk about this full moon and how you're going to use this energy to ground it all. Okay? Because the next card that came out, like, when I say we're magic, like, we're fucking magic. Stop. Don't stop. Keep giving it to me. Look at this. Okay? So the temperance comes out and is like, keep it balanced, okay? You are going to be working in the material world, like being here in the material realm, making sure you are set up here in the material realm, but you are also dedicated to your spiritual practice, connecting with your ancestors, connecting with yourself. Your self is spiritual practice. I stumbled upon spirituality because of the work within myself. The two are the same. The same. I never, I was never like, oh, God, 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 God. I still am not. But it's like, there's, we are source. We are the source. But we'll get deeper in that um, another time because that's like another day conversation. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, you know, TikTok has helped. There's so many people on TikTok that's like helping with the religion conversation. Please. Begin the deconditioning of religion. Begin the deconditioning of religion. Begin the deconditioning of religion. You. Begin the deconditioning of religion. Next. <laughs> so temperance says keep your feet on the ground. You're going to be this king of pentacles. You get both. Remember what I was saying? Like the dog and him are very spiritually aligned, spiritually bringing in what it is that they are bringing in okay they're not they're not saying oh what more work do i need to do to align to that money that i need they're saying what can i what frequency can i align with that aligns with that money money is just energy and you you are money <laughs> your energy <laughs> we're money and energy <laughs> and it's one of those things where being in this material plane and in an unsurrendered state it sounds so wild like i can just align with money by just sitting here like it's like it's a lot deeper than that you know it's just so much deeper and the foundation is finding out who you are what are you aligning with right now? You've heard it with relationships probably of um, who you are aligning with right now is the frequency that you're on. So why are you attracting the type of partners that you are attracting? That's a very simple 
exercise that you can do with yourself. Grab that pen and piece of paper and just let it all pour out. Let it write. Why am I aligning with people who want to take advantage of me and take advantage of me and blah, blah, blah? Or what is your story? What is it that you're aligning with that you continue to not want to? Okay? I'm going to do that tonight too. What am I aligning with that I that's not in alignment with me? <laughs> So another just wonderful full moon activity is going to be to um, journal, of course. Um, get real and write with what you want and desire in your life. <sighs> Which we went over a little bit with this wonderful king. Um, he was just like, look, I get what I want. I receive everything I receive. And as long as I can think of it in this moment, it's mine. So write a list of, of what you'd like. There we go. I've just been given the message again that I got earlier. So it's in alignment that I am to say it. Whew. I hope you all are keeping up. Yeah. <laughs> Sending you love. Um, the temperance, okay? We're going to finish this spread. There are only two more cards left. The temperance is that balance because you are still transmuting dark healing energy, okay? Release, release, release. In the full moon, we release. We release what's holding us back. We release what is no longer serving us. We release all of it, okay? This is the mindful time to think about it. Don't say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it the next day. This is the energy that you do it in. Energy is everything. Oh, my gosh. But if you don't end up doing it tonight and you can only do it tomorrow, do it. And the next day, you got it. It's all yours. Everything, okay? All of this is going to be, it's it's important with or without the moon. But um, obviously, use the energy. You've got to just understand the energy. Get to know astrology because astrology is energy. I mean, you're using the names of of the signs, but the signs are what explains the energy. The house is what explains the energy. The, the um, aspect is what explains the energy. So you can say, oh, today is, it's a, you know, sun sign. So it's Sagittarius season. That's what the sun is in. So the energy around us right now is going to be Sagittarius vibes. <laughs> Sagittarius vibes is freedom, self-expression, the brightness, boldness of being self, but not being tied down, being bold about who you are, and being in the community, spreading the light and freedom and travel. Not being tied down. I mean, you could hop on a flight tomorrow, says Sagittarius. So you feel that, and you might say, you know, this is a great time to travel. But then there are seasons that are kind of like <clears throat> maybe cancer seasons. Super nurturing time, super loving and emotional time for some. Do I want to travel during emotional outbursts? Absolutely not. I actually just got an emotional reaction to that. I'm like, no, I would much rather travel during travel time. <laughs> so you can use those energies to really just plan your life. My gosh, you don't need to have everything be a mystery. It's so fun. Like, this is me. I'm a Libra. You're going to hear me contradict and come back all the time because it's all about release, but then it's about structure. You got to structure and release, structure and release. That's just life, okay? So, yes. Hi, Rafant. This is a very spiritual time. I forgot to say this about Sagittarius. Very spiritual uh, energy as well. Spiritual travel, freedom, expression. That's all Sagittarius, okay? And so we have the Hierophant, which is the... Oh, the spiritual guru. I am my own guru. I learn. I heal. I create. I alchemize. I am. I receive the messages from my ancestors and the messages from 
anything within that I need because you are the student. You're the student of life. You are sitting down and you are receiving those downloads. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Just keep that alchemy and balance between the material realm and the spiritual realm and transmute those shadows, okay, please, because it's going to be so important at the end of the day. It's going to be important. For your life of ease, your wealth of ease, darling. You deserve it. Yes. And if not you, then who? Who deserves it? Who deserves this wealth of ease, huh? And if you did think of someone, I want you to write down the attributes of that person. Why is that person so special and why do they deserve it? And then I want you to look at those traits that you wrote down. And then I want you to create a list of I am statements that are ending with all of those attributes, okay? Because what's going to happen is you're going to begin believing that all of those traits that you desire within somebody else is indeed within you. It's already yours. It's already within you. And that's exactly why you were able to point it out, beautiful soul. So what are you? Tell me. Write in the comments what your I am affirmations are now that you know exactly the traits that you admire within someone who is aligned with the life of ease, the wealth of ease, the power of ease. It is all yours, beautiful soul. What will you align with? I am powerful. I am courageous. I am worthy. I am fill in the blank. Because <laughs> mm. you are everything. You are absolutely everything. Ah, say a deep breath in that. Let's feel that. That's so wonderful, isn't it? So let's talk about some things. Because I want to help you. Will you let me help you? Please, let me help you. I want to help you fast track this ride to this next venture of your life. I want to help you with that, okay? So I am a self-love, embodiment coach, authenticity coach, productivity coach, human design reader, astrology reader and advisor, and human design advisor, as well as Gene Keys. Any of these readings are going to catapult your life. Honestly, I usually work with one modality at a time with everybody, and I usually start with human design, which is absolutely powerful. But if you feel called to getting a birth chart natal reading, that there is a really great foundational aspect of learning the energies that I was just talking about. So knowing what Aries energy feels like, knowing what Libra energy feels like, knowing what Capricorn energy feels like. And I will not leave you hanging on, on that Capricorn energy that we are coming up on. And so what I want to do is I want to meet with you. We'll have a mindfulness mindset meeting or even a uh, human design reading our astrology reading, and we'll talk about what's coming next for you, okay? We'll have a mindfulness meeting of talking about where you are, what's on your mind, what's coming up next, what, just where are you, what do you need to get out, and a lot of times we'll just start with questions. I'm going to guide you through questions. We'll get to where your um, self-love lacks are and where we can pick up on that so that you are aligning with the frequency that you indeed deserve to align with. You deserve a life of ease. And I am somebody who can find, pinpoint, and alchemize along with you the places where you can use a little bit more energy, a lot more energy, mm. and work and light, and vision, 
You just mix it all together and create this magical existence that ends up being you, that you created. I'm just there to, I'm kind of like a, a piece of paper. <laughs> I'm like, you're just writing your stuff on a piece of paper and I'm the paper. I don't know. That's the metaphor I came up with for now. But just know that it's all within you. I'm just helping you bring it out with all these different modalities. So human design astrology gene keys and then just me being a channeler and reader and a seer i i see <laughs> and um yeah let's connect let's connect melamine.com you and i are gonna we are gonna help you grow a lot we're gonna help you love yourself you are going to love yourself, beautiful soul, because you deserve it. And that's going to be your foundational key to everything, everything. So tonight in this full moon, you'll find where exactly you're needing the work, the healing, and the release. <laughs> and what you are manifesting itemize everything it is that you truly desire because it's yours beautiful soul it is all yours you deserve a life of ease and you deserve someone like me helping you <laughs> so let me get this alignment out <laughs> sometimes okay let me just not Sagittarius, we are in this freedom season, okay? I'm going to be creating a uh, December forecast astrology video. You might catch a replay of an uh, interview that I did with this wonderful group of intuitive children or intuitive parents with intuitive children. But, um, yeah, just know that. I just wanted to put forth right now that we are in Sagittarius season. All of those elements that I explained before, the energy of Sagittarius, the freedom, the spirituality, the hierophant. Wow, so awesome. The travel, the um, not wanting to be tied down, like those kind of things. Freedom of expression and community. Those things are all themes that are happening right now. Whatever you are planning right now, be sure to always integrate community. And on the other hand, Please understand that the other half of um, December is Capricorn season. And what we're not going to do is miss out on another powerful portal of Capricorn. Capricorn is here to ooh, ground us. It is that beautiful, sexy earth of pentacles, money, abundance, ease, alignment. And that season's coming. But I'm telling you. It's right before Christmas. New Year's is there. And then we have half of January, which is right after New Year's as well. So every single year we're set up to miss out on the ginormous beauty that the Capricorn energy could be. I'm here ahead of it and to ease you and help you and to help you understand it all. And um, just stay, stay on track. Use this energy wisely. Get a Capricorn reading with me. My moon's in Capricorn. I'm just I'm such a, oh, let me help you make money. Um, thank you so much for watching this beautiful souls. Please, please, please comment, share, subscribe, share this light. I'm going to be traveling the world and sharing my stories, sharing what it is that I'm doing with the other cultures and just living a life of ease. I'm being the example. I'm being the example, okay? And I'm really excited to do that. <sighs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. I am Melanie of Melamind, and I just want you to love yourself.